Hi viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel Math Freak. We are going to start the course of mathematics for the students of class 11 and 12 as per CBSC and WBC HSC syllabus. There are so many students who are waiting for their results of board exam of 10th standard and I hope this video series will be helpful for those who want to study mathematics in future. This is the first video of our video series CBSC 11 mathematics and in this video I am going to discuss about the syllabus and unit wise max distribution provided by NCRT. Here is the table I have prepared. Unit wise max division of class 11 mathematics as per NCRT syllabus. This column contains the units with chapters and the second column represents the marks carried by those units. Here you can see the first unit is about sets and functions and in NCRT book there are three chapters in it that is sets, relation and functions and trigonometric functions and this unit carries 29 marks but if you follow Adi Sharma's book you will see that there are further subdivision of these chapters and it will take 11, first 11 chapters of Adi Sharma's book in unit 1. The next unit is about algebra and there are 6 chapters in, in, in this unit. Chapter 4 to chapter 9 of NCRT book and the chapters are principle of mathematical induction, complex number and quadratic equations, linear inequalities, permutation and combination, binomial theorem and sequence and series. This unit carries 37 marks and in Adi Sharma's book there are 10 chapters, chapter 12 to chapter 21. The next unit is about coordinate geometry and 3 chapters are contained in it, chapter 10 to chapter 12 of NCRT book uh, those are about straight lines conic section and three dimensional geometry and this unit carries 13 marks and for R.D. Sharma's book there are seven chapters chapter 22 to chapter 28 the next unit is about calculus and And this part is completely unknown for the new students of class 11. I mean they didn't get any idea about calculus in their previous classes. This part contains limits and derivatives of NCRT book that is in chapter 13. And in Adi Sharma's book there are two chapters, chapter 29 and 30. This part carries 6 marks. The next unit is unit 5. It contains only one chapter that is chapter 14 in NCRT book and chapter 31 of Adi Sharma's book and it is about mathemat mathematical reasoning and this part carries 3 marks. The last unit that is unit 6 is about statistics and probability. And it contains chapter 15 and 16 for NCRT book and chapter 32 and 33 for R.D. Sharma's book and there is 12 marks for this unit. This is the total distribution of 100 marks over the content. Thanks for watching my video. If you find this helpful, then don't forget to hit the like button and also share it with your friends and acquaintances and subscribe my channel for more educational videos. And if you don't want to miss any updates from our channel, hit the bell icon and stay with us. In my next video, I will discuss about the first chapter of unit 1 that is about set theory. Thanks again.